Hello everyone and welcome back to day two of the United States Amateur Match Play Championships. We've got our final eight competitors out on Jones East right now looking to see which four are going to take the victory and move on to play Jones West for their shot at 18 veteran baskets and free discs for life. Now for the rest of our competitors who weren't able to advance in the match play championships, we put together a two round B tier so they didn't leave empty handed and got to experience disc golf and Emporia just a little bit more. Let's check out some action from the B tier this morning. Hey guys, here with Cole Neal. He just won his match in the Elite Eight, so he's moving on to the Final Four. Hopefully we can use those terms. Sorry, NCAA, if we can't, but he's on to the Final Four. Cole, congratulations to you. Thank you. I'll take some of that. Yeah, tell us a little bit about your round today. Uh, well, the course is pretty difficult. There's a lot of pushes. You don't get a lot of twos, maybe win a couple holes with some threes. Missed a couple putts, made a couple good putts, but my competitor uh, was really good, actually, so got lucky winning. Awesome, we'll take it. Yeah. Now, tell us where you're from, and if are, are these courses kind of like what you're used to, or are they a little bit different? Uh, I'm from South Haven, Mississippi, which is right on the state line of Memphis, and they're fairly similar. Like, this one is a lot like one of my home courses, and then Pan's a lot like another one of my home courses, so there's a lot of mix just like there is here. Awesome, awesome. So feeling pretty comfortable. Pretty comfortable, yeah. Awesome, okay. Well, Cole is on to the final four for his shot at 18 veteran baskets and free discs for life. Congratulations. Thanks, Robert. Hey there, guys. Here with Nathaniel after his round four win, putting him into the final four. Congratulations Thank to you, you sir. Uh, tell us a little bit about your round today. Uh, it started off really in my favor. I went up early, on, uh, took up four to start. Wow, so great. I held on to that, and the last two holes he started coming back. So we had to play the last two or up to the last two holes so um, he definitely made a push for it but getting the early lead definitely did help nice was there one hole in particular that was like a big momentum swing for you where you hit a big putt or just threw like a perfect drive or something like that or was it just kind of steady it was just kind of steady on my part I just kept it clean I didn't do anything spectacular I was let I didn't I wasn't going for anything unless I had to that's a good play out here you yes. you can uh, you can do well by taking a whole bunch of pars collecting a few yes. threes on the four so yeah, excellent I just wanted to maintain get through all the OB holes over here yeah. and he made a couple he made one stroke on me there so I was just you know, I'm just playing it by as I go awesome awesome well congrats to Nathaniel moving on to the final four for his shot at 18 veteran baskets and free discs for life congratulations thank you yes sir We've got Jacob Dills here. He just won his match, securing his spot in the Final Four. And uh, it ended a little bit after the other matches because we had a little bit of a playoff. Is that correct? Yeah. we had. Tell a, us what happened. We had a three-hole playoff. He actually had me by two going into the 16th hole. And I was able to have some clean putts and some nice drives. And I was able to take a couple strokes back. So we went into sudden death. And we had to uh, play a three-hole playoff. Nice. Now, uh, last hole, was it big putt by you? Or did, it, did was there some out of bounds? What happened? Uh, so I just tried to play the hole smart. I just had a nice hyzer line, landed out in the middle, and then threw a nice up shot to give myself a 15-foot putt, and I was able to hit the putt, and unfortunately he, was, he missed his. So That's a great three on hole seven, right? Yes. Well done, sir. Great three. Jacob's on to the final four. We'll have some more action for you this afternoon. Congratulations, man. Thank you. Let's take a look at some highlights from round four here at the U.S. Amateur Match Play Championship.
All right, we are standing here with our two finalists for the U.S. Amateur Match Play Championships. We've got Matt Whitlock from South Carolina, and we've got Jacob Dills from Oregon. Congratulations, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank well done. They have uh, emerged from a field of here in town at the championships of 47 players, but nationwide, probably a few thousand players that they've bested to get to this spot. Um, Matt, tell us a little bit about your round today. Was it up and down, or were you just kind of steady all the way? Uh, it was pretty consistent. I went up uh, one or two right at the beginning, and I just kind of played it out, kept with him uh, to keep a little bit of a lead. I think he uh, got a couple back. Um, I kept the lead pretty much the entire time. Um, and then at the end, I grabbed a couple to go three up with the one left. Awesome. Well done, sir. Jacob, how about you? Uh, I was playing pretty consistent. I was hitting all my putts, and I was just trying to play smart. I took a few strokes in the beginning, and I managed to hold on to it until the very end, and then I went six and five. Awesome. Six and five is a big win. Well done. So uh, so for these gentlemen, what's at stake is we've got one of them is going to be taking home 18 veteran baskets and discs for life. The other one will be taking home nine veteran baskets and a thousand dollar store credit. Uh, so have you guys thought at all about where you'd put these baskets or if you want to do a brand new course, replace the baskets at your own course? Have you guys thought about that at all? Uh, I haven't thought about it too much, but maybe one closer to home. OK, to what, what, what would that be? Uh, Northeast Columbia. Okay. Carolina, just so I don't have to drive 15, 20 minutes, maybe a little closer, be a little easier. I respect that. Well done. How about you, Jacob? Um, we're actually in the process of designing a course uh, pretty close to my work, so I'm hoping to help donate to that. Okay, that'd be a no-brainer. That's yeah. very cool. All right, well, gentlemen, shake hands, and then act like you're going to – I'm just kidding. Don't do that. <laughs> we'll catch you guys tomorrow as we, uh, as we conclude the, the national championships here at the U.S. Amateur Match Play Championships.